8월 20일 오후 3시 53분과 4시 12분 등두 차례에 걸쳐 MDL 이남 지역으로 화력 도발을 so right there, one South Korean official reacting to the artillery fire exchanged across the North and South Korean border today. The tense exchange was the first major exchange of gunfire in five years, although there were no casualties. Both sides are warning of more fighting in the coming days. For more now on this, we bring in Todd Wood. Washington Times columnist and Newsmax insider. Todd just returned from the Korean Peninsula. Todd, it's great to have you with us. Oh, thanks for having me back on. All right, so tensions between the North and South were already high. Both sides recently accusing the other of acts of war over those loudspeakers, throwing out dueling propaganda. How does this all end, Todd, with the real war? Uh, well, that's a good question. It's, it's quite possible. Um, uh, you know, I think people have really underestimated the Korean situation. I was there, as you say, a few months ago with the Washington Times uh, on the DMZ, and it's a scary place. Uh, they are still at war. Uh, there has been really a lack of communication between the two sides for a long time. Uh, the North has continued provocation after provocation, and now they have nuclear weapons. And that's why this Iranian deal is so dangerous, because uh, if you look at what's going on in North Korea, we gave the same deal to them recently, Yeah, you know, a few years ago. And a lot of folks have said that Iran wants to use North Korea as a model to extort money from the rest of the world. The Pentagon said it would, quote, take prudent measures to ensure the well-being of U.S. personnel, but it didn't elaborate. How much danger are U.S. US military men and women in on the Korean Peninsula, specifically in the DMZ? Very much so. Uh, they have, uh, I haven't seen the last number, but a lot of artillery tubes pointed at U.S. troops. Um, they can unleash a devastating amount of firepower very shortly. And the U.S. troops are in the way intentionally, I might add, uh, due to a, uh, basically a, as, a, as a tripwire uh, so that the North does not invade the South again. Um, so that's the role we play there. And it's a real war. And when you hear the Pentagon saying things like, quote, take prudent measures, what do you think that means? I think it means that we have to possibly increase our posture there. You know, we've drawn it down uh, somewhat over the last decade. And you may see more aircraft, more assets, naval assets uh, brought to the region. Obviously, Asia is a very difficult region with China and North Korea, the North Korean problem. And so, it, you know, it's an issue we have to deal with and confront because otherwise the alternative is to really lose our presence in Asia. Yeah, and China, Japan, of course, the biggest players in that area. Where does China come down on all this? And uh, you would think that they would be put, putting their thumb on the scale in some way, shape, or form. Uh, China, uh, you know, has its issues with North Korea. Uh, they have tried to keep them in their camp, uh, or at least, um, uh, you know, to try to further their agenda with North Korea. But they've caused them problems as well. And China doesn't want a war. And so, uh, but you've seen a lot of defectors coming over from the North into China, uh, trying to get out of North Korea. And so, you know, China has its issues with the North, Northern regime as well, as far as causing problems for them in their growth agenda in the region. Yeah, certainly, you know, we often hear the Pacific Rim called the Ring of Fire because of all the volcanic activity, but a uh, new definition for the Ring of Fire. Todd Wood, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me on, take care. Always a pleasure. Well, coming up next on Newsmax Now, the surprising independent candidate topping the polls for president well, not quite topping the polls. He's in there, though. Who is he? And what does this say about our current political system? We'll break it down during our roundtable. Also, the State Department and the intelligence community continue to battle over Hillary Clinton's email, what it means for the presidential candidate. We'll talk with the Washington Examiner's Sarah Westwood, who will join us live in just a few moments.